Hello, Internet. So this is the second part of TensorFlow Graph Neural Networks. But today, I tell you, today is the day where we discover it. So here we go, November 18, 2021. And now we enter. We enter and here we are. TensorFlow Graph Neural Networks. Finally, a final version. We are excited to release TensorFlow Graph Neural Networks. So here we go. Why use GNN? This is what I explained in my last video, traffic prediction, fake news detection, simulation, molecules, discovery of new, of new drugs, structure, provide building blocks for implementing GNN models in TensorFlow. Extensive tooling around the difficult task of working with graph data, a tensor-based graph data structure, a data handling pipeline, and some models. Yes, 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 where is it? The initial release of the library contains a number of utilities, high-level carousel API to create GNN models. Many approach here are different. A well-defined scheme, a graph tensor composite tensor type, which holds graph data, can be batched and has graph manipulation routines. Okay, show me. A well-defined schema to declare the topology of a graph. This is important, as I showed you in my last video. And tools to validate it. Wow, the schema of the graph describes the shape of its training data and serves to guide other tools. Okay, I am interested. In the example below, we built a model using a Keras API to recommend movies to a user base I want to watch them this genres that they liked. Okay, and now suddenly we have now a graph neural network doing this job for us. So we have TensorFlow, TensorFlow, GNN, STF, GNN. Yeah, this, this library I need, I need this library. Where is this library? You can check out the GF, GNN, GitHub repo. Yes, yes, please. Yes, this is what I want. TensorFlow, GitHub. TensorFlow GNN is a library to build graph neural networks on the TensorFlow platform. Yes, four days ago. Yes, here we go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Now, this, it, this is an early alpha release to get community feedback. It is under active development or may break API compatibility. Oh, come on. An alpha release. I thought you released it to the community. Okay. Now, the thing with alpha releases is it, that it can crash everything. It can crash your, your, all your simulation, your model, everything. I do not have a good history with employing alpha models to understand or to have a first look at the models. My high Keras style API to great GNN models can easily be composed of other types, heterogeneous graphs. Graph tensor, composite tensor, holds graph data. I would like to see this, I would like to see this. Encoding of graph shape training data. The library of a Google internal library loose, used in a broad variety of context, unhomogeneous and heterogeneous graphs and in conjunction with other scalable graph mining tools. Installation, so let's have a look at the installation and here we go, here we go. The only, the only way to install a preview release, a pre-release, this is, I don't know, my gut say no, don't do this, don't do this, a virtual environment, of course. Okay, we clone it, we install TensorFlow. TensorFlow 2.7, pip, basil, okay. Do, 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 do. Rough is Solution depending on Ubuntu. Install. Great. Great. Now you have to decide, do you want to install an alpha release with all the problems, with all the errors that are still available? No. I mean, I would be really, really interested, but an alpha release, an alpha release can have some high risk compatibility issues can have some can generate quite a lot of problems and i'm sorry but my experience with alpha releases no no 
you spent hours and hours and hours on this topic and the next release they will tell you oh, in the next release we clean up all those bugs no problem come back in one or two months okay now i tell you something for the moment an alpha release no no this is not what i'm looking at i would be highly interested to do something like this but no hey, what a pity i was looking forward to this come on okay ladies and gentlemen i told you i'm gonna fail and this is the point that i break here I'm highly interested in this alpha release, but since it is an alpha release, I'm not going to install it on my machine. I'm not going to run some tests. I'm not going to have a demonstration for you. If you are, however, interested, please follow the recommended instruction. And if you experiment it, if you have it up and running and you say, hey, it's stable, you can have a look at it. Please leave for me and all the other viewers some recommendation in the comments if you find it's a safe release but for the moment i will skip this alpha release this was it for this video and if you're interested have a look at keras because over there at keras as i showed you last time they have something about uh, gnn and it's a good idea let's explore what they have Getting started, Graph Neural Network Spectral Node Classification. You, da, 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 the Node Classification, let's increase it a little bit so we can both read it. Graph Data. Graph Attention Network for Node Classification. Node Classification with Graph Neural Network, that's nice. Message Passes Neural Network. I showed you in my last video about message passing NNs. And graph representation learning with node to vec. Hey, that's interesting. A graph representation learning with node to vec. Okay. Generate embeddings for movies from the database. I tell you something. I will have a look at, at this at the code. I will download the code and I will see if. This is of any interest in some random walks on a graph that looks nice. Okay. Listen, if this is of interest to that, and if this is really something we can use here, I will come back with you and I will show you this example. Until then, see you in the next video.